twofer. <laughs> Love it. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I am an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental, where we play this game on insane... Uh, bleep, try that again. Where we play this game on insane difficulty, the zombies are all set the nightmare speed. And uh, we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, so uh, let's see. What are we going to do in this episode? We're going to go uh, do the Trader's Quest. What I would like to do is I'd like to, to really focus on just pumping out the Trader Quest, uh, just because I want to experience the, you know, the progression uh, where they, you know, lead us to the next trader and whatnot. And it really appears to me like, you know, as as long as we continue doing the quest for Trader Jin, we're going to keep just getting uh, Tier 1 quests. And then I'm I'm assuming by the time we finish the 10th quest and she sends us on to the next trader, then at that point it uh, goes to Tier 2. I'm guessing that's what's happening because it seems like we've been stuck in Tier 1 for a really long time. So I just want to continue busting those out as quickly as possible. Um, to that point, then, I've been looking. Uh, we have three points to spend here. And here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to put a point in um, Daring Adventurer because uh, that will give us an additional crest, uh, quest reward and 5% more dukes. So let's do that now. Um, I'm not going to bother with the better barter because, I mean... Typically, by the by the time I get to end game in this game, I am just I have so much money I don't know what to do with it, and I never ever put points into better barter. So it's just it's just not necessary in my opinion, at least not for you know the way that I play uh, on the single player here. Um, so we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna put a point into a dead eye because now we have a a hunting rifle. Okay, so that'll give us ten percent more damage with rifles. And uh, actually, we could make a quality two rifle. The thing is, though, is, man, I'm a little bit leery about doing that because we made that quality two wrench, and our crappy level one wrench was still better than that. So I don't know. I'm 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 a, I might not do that uh, at this point. Uh, besides, we don't have all the stuff for it anyway. We would need six rifle parts uh, to make that. You know what, though, we do have two rifles. And I think we would probably get six parts if we took if we took those apart. It's just a question of if we do that, though, is it, is it going to really be better than this? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just hold off on that. Let's just use the one we have uh, for now. And then the last point we're going to do. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I've pretty much placed points in all of the you know the the first round stuff. Um, so let's just double check that. Uh, so we got the Boynton Dead Eye, we got Demolitions, uh, Javelin. Yeah, I mean, we we did that early on, and I don't think it was a mistake early on. But I don't think I'm gonna use javelins or spears or continue putting points into it. I'm just, uh, I mean, the spear is a great early game weapon, and it's not, and it's not that it's not a good weapon later on. But I just, there's other things I prefer later on. Uh, so we, anyways, yeah. So we did lock picking, and by the way, I made um, 50 lock picks now, so we can start opening safes and not worry about, you know, lock picks and that sort of thing. We have um, lucky looter one. I'm not gonna bother with treasure hunter, and we've got salvage operations one in perception and strength. We got boomstick, skull crusher, sexy T, miner 69er, and mother load and master chef. Um, and then in a, in uh, Fortitude, we've got Machine Gunner. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't be bad to do Healing Factor and Pain Tolerance. I, I typically do those two. At some point, I'm going to do Living Off the Land so we can do some farming. And we only have to put three points in that now, which is nice. I'm not sure, though, that I, I'm ready to actually do that quite just yet. Uh, what does Pain Tolerance give us? So it's the same thing. It's only 5% redu reduction and 20% less chance to get sun. So they didn't change that. I mean, it, it certainly helps. Pain Tolerance, you know, once you get up to 4 or 5, you know, then that's when it really starts making a huge difference. But at this point, I'm not so sure that I want to do that. Um, in Agility, we could, we could take Archery and probably should take Archery because we're still going to use it a little bit. And... Um, you know, from the shadows, we've already taken that. The rest of this is probably not stuff I would worry too much about until... Oh, Gunslinger, yeah. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to, to you know, beef that up a little bit more, too, since we do have the pistol now. And I, I want to start using it more. So I guess that means the question is, which attribute should we start pumping? 
Um, and and <clears throat> it's going to be at this point in time between agility and strength. We just get so much more from the strength tree. We get Boomstick, we get Skull Crusher, we get Sexy T, the two mining skills. So I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards, towards strength, and then maybe later on we'll pump agility up a little bit so that we can also increase our handgun skills. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's go ahead and put a, a, our, our last point into strength, and once we get up to Milk Drinker, then we'll be able to get to the next uh, point in Shotgun and the next two points in Mining. Um, and, you know, maybe even Skull Crusher, too. So I think that's the route we're going to take for as we start to enter the mid uh, the mid game here. We are now at game stage 42. So once we hit game stage 50, that's when we get to tier two and we'll start seeing even better loot. So I want to get that, you know, that up uh, as quickly as possible, too. All right. Enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and go do the quest that we got from Trader Jin and see if we can get these tier one quests knocked out and get up into tier two. All right, we're here. Man, oh man. That was one hell of a rough ride getting over here. We came, <laughs> we came down through here and all through this territory. Really rough. I think what I'll do on the way back is, you know, maybe head west here and see if there's if we can intersect with this highway to get back up there. Um, yeah, going cross country on this map is um, it can be it can get really rough. And you're not just going to necessarily you know, go from point A to point B without uh, hitting some rough territory. Okay, so um, this coal mine is actually pretty damn dangerous for a tier one, only because, or mainly because, there's not a lot of places in in this place where you can, you know, kind of, um, you know, get zombies caught up in into a doorway and stuff like that. So it's it's actually pretty pretty dangerous. Um, I've, I've been killed by this place before in the past, so, uh, but I do know where the, the fat loots are, uh, so we're going to double loot the place. Uh, let's maybe clear some of these Zeekers out of the way that are, um, out and about first, just so we, you know, don't have them interfering with us. So we've got a Darlene over there, we've got a Ronald McDonald there, and then somebody else is walking around down that way too. So let's deal with Ronnie first. Come here, buddy. The, the crazy thing too is we have a we have a freaking coal mine in our own town. I mean, right by my house. <laughs> it's like, why the hell did they send me this one? Oh man. I guess the good part about it though is it does it does help you uncover uh, more territory. So there is that. Uh, there's someone over there too. Come here, darling. Okay, whoever that one is, they're inside of the thing. You know, we should we should actually jump in here and grab the weapons bag out of here too while we're here. Might as well. All right, let's check the weapons bag and the ammo pile. Nice. And oh wow, another purple club. Oh, look at that. And a and a yellow hunting rifle. Please tell me it's better than the one we have, because it's got another mod slot. It's better on range to damage, which is the most important thing. Okay, good. That was actually a very nice find. And I'm glad we didn't try and make that orange one uh this time either. I'm gonna just chuck all that because we're we're in questing mode now, not resource gathering mode. Uh, but that was a nice find, too. We'll have to compare that to the one that we have when we get home. Got somebody's attention. Oh, there's another bunny. Since she opened the place up for us, we might as well check it, right? Oh, there's some bra a brass faucet. Toilet pistol? Nope. 
Come here, Ronald McDonald. Uh, you know what? I I left my hunting knife home. That sucks. Okay, we'll just have to use this. All right, let's go double loot. It's easier just to break through here. Twofer! <laughs> Love it. Oh, maybe not. Big Mama, are you like... Feral or something? Shit. Okay, so, let's see what's in here. Alrighty. Is that better than this? It looks like it is better than our orange one. So, let's make sure that I'm actually looking at this correctly now. So that one does 45, that one does 44. Isn't this the one we already had, though? Yeah, it is. And then what about these two? 43, 44. Okay, so this orange one's better in terms of damage. Excellent. Okay, we got an ammo pile here. And a couple of uh, stored, or, uh, shoddy crates here. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, that, let's put on... Whew. Where should we put it on our pistol? Yeah, let's put it on our pistol. Cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off in our mini bike, all the extra stuff, and then we'll start the quest proper. All right, so this is a clear quest. That means we've got to kill everything in here. I believe... Oh, man, I forgot about this. We should have done this first. I think there's a secret up here, like a hidden stash kind of thing. Yeah, we should have done that before... Uh, before I started the quest, but I forgot about it. Is it not in here anymore? Or do I need to get up higher? Yeah, there it is. Uh, I guess we have to break this. Hidden stash. Oh, nice. Well, I guess we already know all, both of those. So, yeah, we'll sell those. And another AK. Wow. All right. This one does 43 damage. This one does 45. That one does 44. So it's not as good damage-wise. Wow. We are finding a shitload of AKs now, aren't we? Alright. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about that. We should have done that before we started, but oh well, that's alright. Not a big deal. Okay, let's do this. Shit, I forgot about that. We got a Hawaii 5 -0. Do those all just have murky water in them, I wonder? That's just some oil. I don't remember these being lootable before. This must be new. There's lots of murky water in them, though, huh? OK. 
Okay. All right, got some brass. Yeah, that's all just murky water. Uh, you know what, though? I mean, that's so easy for us to come by now. It's not worth taking up an inventory slot right now. We'll leave this hole unless we find another uh, another brass item, in which case we will scrap everything at that point. All right, let's head on down. So we got to jump down here, come around this way. Okay, most of the nastiness is going to be in there, as I recall. There's a lot of coal in here, too. All right, so let me let's see. Is there a way that we can kind of somewhat strategically do this? Is that pretty tough? Yeah, that's shit on a stick. <laughs> Scared me. Uh, Two thousand hit points there. Whoa, where's that coming from? Okay, it must be coming. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Let's just take care of these guys now, then we don't have to worry about them later. Off with his head. Having trouble getting headshots off on him there. Okay, he's dead. So this is the this part going through here is is kind of dangerous because here again you you don't really have any way to um, to block them. Of course, if you get headshots with a shotgun, that works too. I'll take that. You know, we still haven't come across a helmet light yet. Or a mod. we got to be on the lookout for that. I'm not going to loot that stuff. All right. Let's continue on here. I'm not going to keep looting this if all they have in them is dirty water. What's in here? Oh. All right. We'll take an engine. Three jars? What the hell, man? So usually there's an ambush right up here. See, there's a Zeker there. One probably right around that corner, and one probably right around that corner. Wonder if we could do this. Is that a spider? I think it is. Spiders. They're breaking this through. Yeah. 
my uh my stone axe was was broken too oh uh, shit um okay i think we managed to pull that one off just in case there's more let's just get the ak ready i think that's all of them though oh yeah return to trader okay we got it we got her done So one of the Zeeks we killed in here uh, dropped a yellow bag. Right there. Uh, yeah, let's take that right now. You know, I can make a... Uh, I can make a desert vulture if I have enough parts. It wouldn't be a very high quality one, but we could make one. Nothing there. And now we're back to this room again. Whoop, there we go. We need we need to get some stone. I don't think we can get stone with this, can we? Oh, never mind, we can. Alright, repair that. I think um I think there's something under here and I forgot to do that get it when we were double looting. Let's check. Yep, sure enough, hidden stash. Oh wow, look at that. Auto shotgun schematic. Hot oh, damn. Wow, okay. Cool. Um let's see what it takes to make that. Cause I mean even if, even if we made a low quality one, um Kill lumberjack zombies with an axe? Yeah, right. Okay, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, it probably would be worth having for sure. So we need nine shotgun parts and forty-five forged steel. Okay, well we can get forged steel from you know wrenching lamp posts and then and stuff like that if we you know if we can't don't find a crucible. Um, so we would just need to, you know nine shotgun parts and that part we don't. We don't quite have yet. Okay, well, anyway, it's good the good that we found that. Uh, yellow AK. Okay. Yellow AK. Okay. That will probably just sell. Um, we, we're already wearing purple purples, and it looks like they're, these are not any different. So, okay, so we'll sell those. Now, this does 48 range damage. And uh, yeah, so this is definitely an improvement. So that's 44, 45. So we're going to, this will now be our main AK. Let's unload this guy. And then we'll load this guy. Yeah, that's some pretty damn nice loot, all, all told, for sure. Uh, okay, let's finish these two boxes and then we need to wrap up this episode. Shammy crate and working stiffs. Okay, yeah, that's two. <laughs> that's actually two secret stashes we missed when we uh, when we did our double loot. But that's all right. We got some good stuff. Definitely got some good stuff. So we got a yellow AK. That this one will have two mod slots. Once we can get some mods, we can put in there. Uh, we got a yellow pipe wrench which I'm assuming is better than our crappy brown one back at the base. And uh, and we found that auto shotgun schematic, which was really nice. Might be just a little bit longer before we could actually um, make it, but how in the hell are we supposed to get out of here? I guess we have to just break, break stuff down, eh? So um, I'm going to go back uh, to our, our town. <clears throat> and I will meet you at the trader for the turn in and then we'll wrap up the episode.
All right, guys, let's see what we get here. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Here's your pay for a job well done. There's our helmet light mod. Oh man, 127.62s though. That that's that's uh that's tempting. What does this give us? Oh, an armor piercing 44. Man, all three of those would be really good to have. <clears throat> all right, here's the thing. It might be a really long time before we find this, and I want you know I want to try out the the desert vulture as soon as we can. Um, whereas this we're gonna come across again any you know soon, or we could buy it, and this we can make, even though you know that that's super valuable. But I'm thinking this is probably what we should what what we should take while we while we can, because <clears throat> if I don't, I'm probably going to regret it later. So I think that's what we'll do. Okay, um, so you're still giving us uh, tier one jobs. My goodness. Okay, um, here's a fetch that's no. Here's a clear that's less than a kilometer out. So we'll take I that. I think I've got a job or two. Next. Thanks, son. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Okay, on the way back here, I was looting a couple of cars, and we found. Uh, I found this book. Um, so coffins, uh, basically give us, uh, or we can harvest the coffins. So we have to break them up and we get bones, jewelry, and precious gems. Okay. So we found that that's part of the wasteland treasures. Um, now I want to sell a few things to her. Can I repair those? And can we repair these? Yes, we can. And can we repair these? This probably... Uh, how much is that worth? I don't know if I want to burn a repair kit for that, so probably not. Okay. So let's sell her this stuff here. And we got another level too. I'm not going to sell her any of these extra guns yet because I, I, I think I'm going to want those for parts. Um, and this axe will probably just melt that down into the forge. Okay, so she restocks on day 16. And it looks like this is the same. I think this is the same inventory that she's had. Yeah, I believe it is. Pretty sure it is. Okay. I so, just knew you'd find something you'd like. So this is going to be the end of day 15. So tomorrow, yeah, she'll have a new inventory. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, this was a great episode. We got some good stuff in this episode. And, um, I mean, I... <laughs> I really would have liked to have the Helmolite uh, or 120 rounds of 7.62, but this is the thing that's going to be the hardest to come by again in the future, I think. And so I thought I think that was the right choice to make uh, to get that. Because um, soon, like I said, we'll have the Desert Vulture um, and maybe even at some point the actual Magnum Revolver too. So it'll be nice to, me to make armor-piercing rounds for that. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll see you in the next episode. We're going to just keep on working these quests. Bye-bye.